All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Nick, this is Swiffle Thinking, and I am so excited to be back here uh, making YouTube videos again. I have not posted a video in quite some time, and that's primarily because I have just been building other projects and trying to figure out what are the best architecture patterns, the best design patterns for Swift UI. And after doing that for the last year, I think I'm starting to figure out the best patterns, and I'm so excited to now start to share some of that with you guys. So I have a bunch of playlists lined up for you guys that I just need to record and edit. So I'm gonna to try to start cranking out more videos than I have in the last couple months. Uh, but before we get into all that architecture stuff, we're gonna do uh, this playlist, which is specific for Google Firebase. So this is going to be a bootcamp style playlist, just like the other bootcamps on my channel. Each video we're gonna tackle one new topic and then those topics are gonna to build on each other. And by the end of the playlist, you guys are going to be experts at Google Firebase. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is or have never heard of it, Firebase is a product that's made by Google, not Apple, for basically the backend of your application or any application. So you can connect an iOS app, an Android app, a web app, pretty much any app can connect into the Firebase console. Of course, they have an iOS SDK and it's written in Swift and that's what we're going to be using. But if you also had like an Android version of your app, both of those apps could connect to the same backend, which is super convenient for us as developers. As you guys are gonna see in this playlist, uh, Firebase is much more than just a backend. A lot of times when people say they're using Firebase, they mean they're using the database. But Firebase itself actually has like a whole array of products inside the Firebase SDK. And so in this playlist, we're gonna start with the most common, most impactful frameworks, and then we're gonna move into some of the maybe lesser known frameworks. So we're gonna start with things like authentication, so signing users in and out of your app. We're gonna move into setting up a database so you can actually have like a remote server to host all of your data. We're gonna look at storage, so how can we actually sort images and videos in the cloud? And then we're gonna move into some of the additional features that you can add to your app, such as analytics tracking and performance tracking. We're gonna look at uh, crash logging and a whole bunch of other stuff kind of in that realm. I'm super excited again, this is a bootcamp playlist, so every video is a different topic, but I do have to caveat here that there are some videos, specifically when we're working with the database, that are going to be heavily connected to each other. So it's gonna be kind of hard to jump around. And more than my other bootcamp playlists, I would recommend watching this one in order. The last couple of things I'm gonna mention here. Firstly, I'm labeling this as an intermediate level playlist, uh, meaning so you should have at least a basic knowledge of how Swift and Swift UI works before taking this playlist. So if you're following my channel, if you've done like the beginner level series and then maybe the continued learning playlist, this would be a great next step after that. And so I'll discuss this again more as we get into this course, but I wanna highlight for those of you who are just, again, really unfamiliar with Firebase, this is a decision that you are making as a developer to use Firebase or not to use Firebase as your backend. So, so for example, if you had like a backend team or some other backend service you wanted to use, then you probably wouldn't even need to use Firebase in your app. So using Firebase is optional. It's not a requirement in any app. So unlike the other videos on my channel where it's like core fundamentals of learning Swift, this is more if you wanna learn this specific SDK. And so I've built a ton of apps with Firebase. I absolutely love it. It scales really well. It's very cheap if you're comparing it to like hiring backend developers, but it is definitely not a requirement for becoming like a senior iOS engineer. I will say though that if you are building like your own app or an MVP, my personal preference is to use Firebase every time. Uh, it is so fast to set up and it's so easy to use. And I'm hopefully gonna prove that to you guys in the next couple of videos. So that's it for me. Super stoked to be back. Hope you guys are excited to leave a comment if you are at all excited. And I, I rarely say this on my channel, but hit that subscribe button if you wanna stay updated because a lot of videos coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.